Show my hand. Your phone signal that bad? Yep. Told you. Okay, then try the internet. I don't know what to tell you. I can't. Hey. This is on. Okay. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm. Come on. All right. Let's see how this works. I'm going to turn the camera around. I can call Hallie, ask him if he knows anything's going on. Let's see if it stayed. Nope, it did not. Kicked me off again. Do you want to try my phone? Your phone's the not going to work. The ZTE? The, the other phone? The only thing I can think of is the computer. Okay, you want to try that? Well, let's see how... Nope, it froze me again. My hand's been moved for a few minutes now and it's still stuck there. What about the other phone? The pink one. Hold on, let me tell them real quick. Okay, I'm going to take a few minutes and do technical difficulty things for all those that are watching. And I'm going to restart a new video after we restart the internet all over again and every single device. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap to the computer today. It's not as great of quality on that computer cam, but we're just going to swap for now because I don't know what the heck is happening with all these devices. This device isn't even connecting to any other internet other than just the one, not even me having, it says it's working, but it's not staying working. Should I attempt to keep it going? I mean, I it's know. just, if you're it's gonna keep right kicking now. me off. I don't know you're working right now. That has no internet and this is running on, I don't even know. There's are you one... on your phone's internet or are you on the house internet? I have no idea. It's on one bar. We'll just leave it on this then. Okay. Just switch Let's it see what happens. Go. We're just going to switch it around and go. Well, this is as clear as it's been in ages. You're not glitchy or anything. Okay. Tell me if I stay clear. I'll tell you. Let me sit down. Sundays. I don't know what it is about Sundays, but the internet sucks on Sundays. It's because it's your day to go. <laughs> The, when I don't plan a video, it works perfectly. It, I mean, there's some glitching, but it works great. When I plan a video, <laughs> sometimes I just don't like it. Anyway, so I'm going to move all this out of the way, and we're going to get to that test that I was telling you about. Your this, experiment. My experiment <laughs> that I was telling you all about, and I'm going to move the camera over here, and we're going to face down on the experiment. And we're going to just go ahead and get through with that to see how well this works. Just say hi, everybody. Again so welcome, everybody, I don't again. Want to scroll through. I am Tiffany. This is my quilting life. And we don't usually have this many problems when we start. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love to be on YouTube with you guys and hang out. But I cannot control this Internet. I, ooh, I hate it so much. <laughs> And the options are limited in our town. There are two different kinds. And this is the second one. When we lived at our old house, we had the other brand, that they, the other company. And yeah, they were just No one as, likes either of them. They were just as junky internet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put the camera over here. No, I'm going to do it right the camera? Yeah, okay. I'm going to move the camera. Okay. I'm going to change the camera over here a little bit on the desk. And we're going to do the experiment. And hopefully you'll see the whole thing and it don't kick us off. Janet says, thanks for your other video on cleaning your sewing machine. Oh, well, you guys are going to love this oh, experiment then. <laughs> All right, let's come this way. Oh, I thought you were well, we're going to tip you down, and you're going to see what does Tiffy have going on here. Oh, yeah. You got butter. <laughs> I got a bowl. I got some thread, some signature thread. It's messy thread for me, it is at least. And I got some mineral oil. And some paper towels. Yep, that is right, ladies and gentlemen that watch my videos. I have been asked a bazillion times if I've ever tried this, and I haven't. So I've researched it and researched it and researched it. There are so many pros and cons to this whole mineral oil and thread thing. So I figured experiment needs to be done myself to see if it really works, because I have an honest opinion to give to you guys. So guess what? We're going to take and open this brand new thing of signature thread that is really dusty in the machine. Juki does not really care for signature too much. Doesn't care for any thread that I use, but it's very dusty. We're going to use a brand new spool. We're going to put the mineral oil into my old butter bowl. <laughs> We're going to dump some mineral oil into it. We're going to use some paper towels because we don't want this oil all over the place. Hi, Heather. 
and we are going to test this whole mineral oil and thread theory. Do you want a right plate here. or something to put underneath the paper towels? No, we're just going to test this whole entire thing, get your thing dirty. for you guys to see. So I'm going to open this thread if I find the end of it somewhere around Teresa here. Teresa says, I know lots of quilters that do the oil thing. Well, I have not yet, so this will be my first try. And we are going to do this. It says most of the things I've found online say we just dip the whole thing until you can see it soak up into the thread. And you'll be able to see like a change in the color throughout the thread spool. You'll see a change in the color. And then you pull it out of the mineral oil and let it sit for like 30 minutes. You can pat the outside dry uh, while the oil... Experiment will soak up in to the thread and then you let it sit for like a half an hour and then you run it through your machine. So we're going to do this and it's going to sit while I'm sewing to dry and then while it's sitting to sew while I dry then we're going to roll a bobbin of it and also load it to the top of the through the thread thing and then we're going to try using it and see my freshly cleaned oiled machine if it has any super extra dirty dustness from having a mineral oiled thing of thread. We're going to so, find out soon enough, Brenda. Hopefully. All right, let's see. And remember, this is going to be a mineral oil is very smooth and it's actually good for your hands. I'm going to pour a lot into here and I'll, I'll worry about pouring it back into the mineral oil later. So if you guys can see in my bucket, you can see it looks like water, but it's really thick. Mineral oil is probably... One there, of the okay. thickest. I don't know. We're going to see. Just about right there. Try not to get it on my table because it's hard to clean off. So That's I'm going you want more paper towels or a plate? to now stick this with my fingers on each side down in here. Look at this. And we are just going to spin it in there. Spin it. Spinning it in here. I should be using gloves. Yes, that would be a smart idea, but I'm not. So I'm just like, literally, I have the thread in there. Can you see that? <laughs> and I'm spinning it in there until it soaks into. Oh, it looks like it's in the whole entire thing. We're just going to let it run off. You can see it's dripping off of here. I think I need to put a little bit more. It doesn't look like it's really soaked in too much. You mean just dump the whole bottle in? Nope. All right, let's let it drip off again one more time, and then we're going to take a bunch of paper towels off of that. Okay, well, like, here's to sit it on. Yeah. I'm going to get your disc or whatever. I'm going to let it finish dripping. It's still dripping. So we're going to actually test this on my channel so that you guys can find out if this is a really good thing. If it Bonnie really wants to know why you're doing this to the thread. She missed the beginning. <laughs> um, because I've been reading up on this whole mineral oil on thread thing and the pros and cons is supposed to be smooth less it'll take away the dust and lint from your machines and if you guys saw yesterday's video i cleaned my machines and yeah so this is supposed to prevent that and it's supposed to run smoother hey, hold through on your put machine. it back in teresa says she thinks you're supposed to soak it for 30 minutes not just oh i'm supposed to dip it the everything i've seen and read on it says dip it and let it sit for 30 minutes. I don't know. Hers just says, I think you need to soak it for 30 minutes. Now, I'll spin it around in here a few more minutes. But for some strange reason, I, everything that I've read said to dip it Hi, until Brenda. you Hi, see... Sandra. Everything that I've read said dip it until you see the thread fully coated in it. Hmm? Like this. Then drip, let it drip off. And then let it sit for 30 minutes. And you can see it on the thread there. That's actually the hey, start Becky. of the thread. So we're going to let this sit and finish dripping it. We're just going to do what I've read just to see. Well, you can always put it back and if it doesn't and work, it. you can dip it and soak it some more the further down into the thread. But I'm pretty sure this is in the first, like, eighth inch of thread for a fact. All right, so we're going to well, move this out of the way. it works, because yes, your machines were dusty. And I am going to just stick this right here. And I'm going to take a couple paper towels to oh, wipe my lunch. fingers, as well as it's said to dip the paper towels around the edge like this. <laughs> you tell her, Brenda. What? <laughs> uh, it's just them being funny. Oh. Teresa earlier instead of soap, she said sock. 
Oh. She typed it wrong, so Brenda says, sock it to me, Teresa. <laughs> so I'm going to shove this in here It'll so that the insane. inside of the spool gets dried out because it is pretty full of oil now. Give me another one. We want to make sure that this whole thing doesn't spread the oil any further throughout my room. So if the inside of there is dried out, at least it won't be too bad in the drying process. But I've been asked about this a few times in emails and messages, so we're going to finally test it and see. And I figured, why not? I have a brand new op unopened thing of signature thread. I might as well see how this works. All right, we're going to let this sit now for 30 minutes while I sew a little bit. Okay. And this can I just... I got the time on here. Okay. Just take this and put it at the sink for now. Yeah, why don't you go and wash I'll, your hands? I'm going to go wash my hands at the sink. Yeah, why don't you just And go. this can get poured back in later. Yeah, we can use a funnel. Can you use that person? Mm -hmm. They're just saying hi to everyone. It only takes two seconds to wash your hands. She'll be right back. <laughs> so what's everyone doing today? Is anybody else sewing or doing any experiments of your own? Okay. Any home experiments? <laughs> We're going to go back to the sewing now side of there. This is so bossy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come on. Right. Who's the boss, right applesauce? Okay. So, while that does its thing for the next 30 minutes, what, did I lose it again? No. Oh. Yeah, I was just making um, sure this is slower, so it just showed an empty chair. But, nope, you're I on. haven't even ran the machine since uh, I cleaned it yesterday, but it is so clean. So clean. So we're going to run some thread through it. I really, really wished I could have ran the new the, hi, Leah. 30 yes, minutes. Hi. <laughs> hi, Leah. And this is such dusty thread, such dusty thread. But... We're just going to run it through here. Oh, actually. Uh, Jennifer's sewing her first Dresden. Ooh. That's cool. I'm going to be making one of those real soon. All right, let's put some thread in the bobbin. Goodness, Bonnie, you live out in the middle of nowhere. Bonnie went grocery shopping. The closest one is 45 miles away. That's a lot, long distance. Yeah. To shop. All right. Oh, and another thing. Mineral oil is good for your cuticles. So if you push your cuticles back and then you put mineral oil on them, it's really good for your cuticles. Um, it is also used How in is that? old times. I don't know about new times, but in what, older times, it is used for uh, to relieve constipation. You know, lubricate your bowels. <laughs> Explain this again for Lizette and Margaret. Margaret says, I never heard of this. Won't the extra oil mixed with the lint gunk up your machine inners? I'm interested to see how you, it works. Like I said, this is why I'm doing the experiment for you guys. I've read so many pros and cons. Some say it's too gunky. Some say it becomes too smooth and your tension gets all screwed up. Some say it leaves a gooey mess. Some say it's the cleanest they have ever had ran their machines so they oil every single school of thread that they own up and blah blah i mean the the pros and cons list is like so much here and so much here but it's equal up there you know what i mean what, so, what thread did you oil again i oiled a signature because it is a very linty thread well at least for the juki it is for the brother it's not that bad but for this machine all thread is very very linty it <laughs> makes a big mess <laughs> Nikki says, yep, Tiff, a tablespoon a week. It was gross. <laughs> it's disgusting. Um, I did it for a long time, years and years and years ago, to my little kid when my kids were very little, because that was grandma's old recipe with some mineral oil. To help them with what? To, to relieve constipation. And did it work, though, for your kids? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Well, I never so. drank it I'm myself. Gonna, I'm going to have to ask them if they remember that now. But I've used it on my cuticles. That's why I had a bottle of it. Because I just rub a little bit on my cuticles. Uh, and it keeps your fingers really nice. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time. It's been We had to dig for it in a cupboard. But I knew it was there. All right. So I'm going to move all these out of the way. This is going to be like sitting and watch paint dry right here. Just looking at this darn spool. It looks very nice right now. This spool looks... It looks like it sopped up some, I don't know, but it, it looks, just the look of it, you guys can't see how quality-wise, how 
weird it looks on camera, but it looks like a puff marshmallow. <laughs> it's just all like it's expanded with some juiciness. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Anyway, like so <laughs> here are my 30. Five across by six down is what I'm doing, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm not really doing any particular order, honestly, but I am going to go ahead and... Um, Brenda's digging out all of her tool and searching for a pad and she plans to use and she can't one, find it. Two, Brenda's three, cleaning, was cleaning four, the house and took the kids for a ride five, for an hour and a half. Six. The grandkids, that is. I literally have six the end with white and I have I'm going to be doing five across by six down so I want to make sure that there is white on the end in each row we're going to see how many have green on them that way it's when I put this together it will I don't know I'll just look more balanced and then I'm also going to see how many have red that way every row is nicely balanced Dude, this one reads as a white I guess that can go in the white section and these are not, these are creams. We got two blues, two browns, and a bunch of orangey looking ones. So what I'm going to do, oh, that one doesn't read, that reads as brown more, and that is brown. All right, is I am going to cut this stuff up into one inch strips by two and a half inches. So I'm just gonna take this pile right here and trim these down to one inch and then subcut those one inch strips into two and a half inch segments because these are two and a half inch blocks. And I'm just going to attach one of these pieces to every one side of each of these to make my sashing. And then like I said, cornerstones I think are mostly done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a ruler and a cutter and kind of scoot this way so that I can do this. We're going to move all that out of the way and we're going to move that out of the way and that out of the way. Rowena made pillow shams for the first time today to match the quilt that she made for her brother. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I never get enough fabric to do pillow shams or any kind of matching stuff with quilts. I was asked to um, with that big, huge Mariner's uh, star quilt. I did the um, matching pillow shams for that, and yeah, I had to go and actually buy more fabric from that fabric line to be able to do that. All right, I'm going to turn this around and cut up one board. inch off of there. Here's one for you, honey. Mm -hmm. Lisa used to give an A-bomb to some of her residents. Six ounces of warm prune juice, 30 cc's of mineral oil, 30 cc's of magnesia. They were guaranteed a morning shower. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the, that sounds like it. Yeah. All right, that's not an yeah, inch. That's, that's not an inch. I'm not definitely going to get an inch from that. I don't even know why that's Bonnie here. lives up in the country in the Alpena, uh, Michigan. This is Alpena, not Alpena. fully an inch either. So that can just go in this pile right there. And this I can get an inch from. And there's two pieces here. Oh, yes. Okay, so. I'm literally just going to start taking all these strips and making sure I can get an inch from them. So I'm just folding them in half and cutting one inch strips. And I'm going to sub cut them after I've already made all my one inch strip piece cuts, parts, whatever. Get that out of the way, turn it around and cut one inch. In reality, I have not wasted anything when it comes to putting this project together. So that's one inch. Where's the one I already cut? Oh, it's right there. All right, let's cut this one down. This one has a seam in it, but oh well. This should make one inch. It should, should, should. around so I'm just making one inch sashings strips and then I'll sub cut them down so how's everybody doing today sorry for all the mess 
internet madness that when I first came on. Ugh. Jennifer says, I'm so blind. Is that homespun fabric green you're using? Uh, green. Yeah, I no, it's it's a printed fabric. It just looks homespun or whatever. It just looks at It originally had a regular selvage on it, but I forgot what it was called. I forgot already. Well, Brenda, I used to really like Big Bang Theory, so I'm going to have to check that out. Talk what? about a new TV show coming on tonight. That's like the Big Bang Theory? No, with the lady from the Big Bang Theory. Oh. You never watched Big Bang Theory before? No, I did not. So I'm just cutting one inch strips. I definitely know I need 32 and a half inch by one inch pieces to start. That's how you know because you have that many blocks and then my second mm. amount will be um, the same exact thing except going the opposite way. And those will get a cornerstone on them. So I might as well cut all I can out now. That way I don't have to cut much more later. Brenda asks, how are your wrists? Uh, the one is the one that bothers me. It is still bothering me, but I, when I'm on camera, I don't want to wear the brace because it actually slows me down and I just deal with the pain, which is no big deal. I mean, sort of no big deal. Hi, Terry. So, but I'm managing. How about that? Uh, I have to go for the, what day is it? The fifth? Nerve test tomorrow. Oh, my nerve test is tomorrow. Or no, wait, no, Tuesday. Sorry. Tues Tuesday. Tomorrow's the fourth, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you go to the fifth. Tomorrow I got to go do the x-ray. You can go do the x-ray before you get the nerve test the same day if you want. Mm. It's up to you. But yeah, you can go tomorrow. Get the x-ray. All right, I'm going to cut, I guess, just this last two pieces and see if that is enough. Hi, Sue Ann. Sue Ann says hi. Hi, Sue Ann. I'm just cutting one inch pieces while waiting for my thread to dry. Hopefully. I'm going to say sure, hope they can help. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Ooh, will I get another one inch from here? <gasps> Look at that. So that was a two inch square. Terry says it's so nice That's to true. see everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I bet to ask how everyone was doing. Did everyone yeah, say they were good? Hi, Nita. Nita says hi. hi she Nita. got stuck on a phone call. Oh, that's fine. I had internet issues. Yeah, we had internet issues. When I first came minutes. on, <laughs> so you guys are good that are joining now. It's all good now. I decided it wanted to work. <laughs> Bonnie says your so day says the second of January. So confused oh. her. Oh, sorry. It I wrote it in a quick hurry instead of putting the third. Neither wants to know what you're working on. So I am working on my tiny blocks. I'm sashing gonna be sashing them. That's not one inch. No. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna subcut these down. And she also did an experiment with oil yep. in the thread. Yep, I did the mineral oil. I'm doing doing still. It's experimenting right now. <laughs> uh, it's drying. I did an experiment to see if that whole mineral oil and thread thing really works. So we will know right here on my channel in like 23 minutes or so. <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing. So I'm stacking. Got 15 more minutes. Ooh, look at that. 15 more minutes and it should be dry. Dry enough to run through my, you know, if I take 15 more minutes to do this, then I could just put it through the machine now. You know? Yeah. And start running it. I have to roll a bobbin with it though, because I want to run the bobbin and the top thread to make sure 
And we can see if the fabric gets oily at all or. Well, in case it screws something up, you want to only do one at a time? No, I want the oh, bobbin okay. and the top thread to be Well, then both do you want oiled. to sew on something not your thing? Do you want to just sew on some junkier fabric? Oh, I'm going to start by sewing on some oh, junk fabric. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm totally not going to run it right away on okay, okay. what I'm doing right now. I was just going to run some scrap through. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's what Vicky says. Use old yeah. fabric to try the oil. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to throw something scrappy through first. I am not going to run it. Neither freshly. apparently has never heard of this either. She asks, what's yeah. the mineral oil supposed to do? Ah, it's supposed to lubricate the thread so that it doesn't it doesn't make a super thready, horrible mess in your machine. Lint and it's mess. supposed to dust and lint. It's supposed to tighten it, but we will do that test by cutting some off and yanking it and seeing if it breaks. It's supposed to tighten the thread as well. It's supposed to keep it spun and hold the 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 spunness together <laughs> the, the cotton oh, thread. Vicky <laughs> says Sandy did it. Poor man sewing did it and it didn't work. Really? Yeah. I never saw so. Well we're we'll gonna try it. here soon. We'll tell you all. All right, I'm gonna subcut these now into two and a half inch segments. So let's cut off the beginning first so that I have a nice straight start. And they're gonna be one inch by two and a half inch, which is easy because that's my ruler. So I just lay my ruler on here just like this and cut just like that. Look how fast this is going to go. We're going to move this stuff out of the way now. Nita uses mineral oil on her wood utensils and cutting boards. Interesting. Hmm. Well, we don't have a wood cutting board. No, nope. so. or wood utensils. Or wood utensils. My mother did as a kid, but I don't remember if she did that or not. Not sure. She doesn't anymore. She did when I was a kid. But... My grandma had all wood utensils at her house, too. Maybe it's a grandma thing. <laughs> well, now that my mom's a grandma, she doesn't have them. <laughs> when I, I was a kid, she did have them. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it's just... It's just an old-timey thing? An older thing. I don't know. People do. I don't know. We'll know for a fact, because we're going to run Ter it through. Teresa so. says, remember to pat the spool down with the paper towel. Yeah, I will. We That's why we left the paper towels and stuff in here, because I'm going to definitely need go it, over it. Need to ask, it doesn't spoil like olive oil or vegetable oil? Not that I know of. It shouldn't. Heather uses mineral oil on the seal for her pressure cooker. I never heard of that one either. Neighbor has a pressure cooker. We should ask him. <laughs> oh, Denise has to go. Her husband's calling her. Okay. We'll see you. Thank you for joining. And... Hi, Suzanne. Suzanne uses wood utensils for everything. There was just one two and a half inch worth piece left off of that. Okay. Toss that out of the way. Oh, she said it was. it's a statement. It does not spoil. It wasn't a question. Oh, okay. She says it does not spoil. All right. Well, I guess I'm ready to sew. Uh, she used a little over half of a bottle, Terry. It's a small bottle, but she's going to pour it back in the bottle. Yep, I'm going to pour it back in the bottle to use it some more. I mean, only for the thread, right? If it does work, that it'll be just for the thread. If not, then I'll just dip my fingers in it every once in a while and lube my finger, my cuticles up. <laughs> Teresa says her mineral oil takes up space in the cupboard. Ours is under the bathroom little sink thing, and yeah. it's been in there for over 10 years. Yeah. It's pretty old. Pretty old. So we'll pretty see if old. there's an expiration. All right, we're just going to sew with what I have in here for now. Kim says wooden spoons and spatulas are great for cast iron. Well, we have a glass top, stove top, so we're not, we can't use cast iron on it. All right, so I'm going to start sewing these uh, one inch by two and a half inch little pieces on here with a scant quarter inch seam. <laughs> Suzanne says I use mineral oil for nothing. Same here. We haven't used it for anything until tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it was for the kids when they were little. Oh, that's good. So I'm just going to chain piece all these through because every piece needs to get these for now. Okay, this one did not come out no two and a half inches. You got 11 more minutes, my love. Must be. Why did I measure that on that? Let's measure it on this. No, it is. It's this. It's this. It's oh, yeah. Block. Teresa wants me to clean off the camera and see if that'll help. What's wrong with the camera? I don't know. 
I just wiped all the camera and everything when the floor coming on. Oh, then I guess that won't help. Yeah, why? What's wrong with this? Is it I don't know. Blurry? She said, would you clean off the camera and see if that will help? That's exactly what I was going to do. Use my shirt. It was clear on here, but I don't know. Same clearness. I don't know. <laughs> it seems the same to me, but I don't know. Maybe it'll if work. If you're new to my time. channel and didn't know, I have horrible. Hor the internet is what's, I think, making our video quality bad. So, but I've always had bad video quality. So, if that bothers you, I'm sorry. For anybody. Anybody. Just in case. You never know. Lisa says my grandmother had a wooden spoon that was flat on one side from where? I think my mom's just flat and beating me in the butt. <laughs> we had a wooden paddle. Yes, we had a wooden paddle too. She didn't use this cooking spoon. One side said my sister's name and one side said my name. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. Hi, Heather. Heather says hi. Wooden spoons and spatulas are good for any cookware, says Kim. No scratching or scarring. Oh, Lisa and Judy say it's clear. Teresa says it's blurry. For, so for I don't know, those of you who have blurry videos, just remember in the top of the screen, there's three little dots. Hit that and you can change the video quality to be seven instead of being whatever this is 177 <laughs> yeah. for most people because i i get it on that as 177 you can change it to be 480 1080 blah 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 720 you know that kind of thing Shelly has a question have you ever made a temperature quilt mm, i don't even know what that is i'd have to look it up just to see hi jill hi jill hello everybody that's joining Lisa says it looks good. She washed her glasses. <laughs> wow, really? This one's seriously not two and a half. It's like an eighth of an inch bigger. That is okay. I will center it. You need that iron anymore? No. Oh. Well, that just happened. I see. Not all two and a half inch squares are created equal today, but that's okay. I will make it work, like always. Suzanne uses the 480, yeah. 720 buffers continually. Well, I gotta tell you, it's a clear since it's been on the tablet since he used Justin's phone that day. Yeah. It has its issues here and there, and you have a delay. Like when you used Justin's phone, it didn't have any delay at all, but. The clearness is... Yeah, I cleaned all the devices before coming on. <laughs> Jill says, listen to that baby purr since yes. you cleaned it. Oh, yeah. It's definitely quieter. Very much quieter. Linda says Yvette's making a temperature quilt. She wants her this morning to talk about it. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Oh yeah, Teresa says hers was set at 144. Ah. It really makes a difference. Yep. Yep. Mine automatically, when I watch other people's videos, comes on at the 420 or whatever that number is. 480. 480, yeah. It's okay, Teresa. So. We try. It happens. And it says she's using two inch squares for her quilt, but using strips instead of just the square. Okay, that is definitely not it. It must have been too short of a piece inside that stack that I made. And I just didn't pull them out. Oh, yeah. How did that even happen? That's not even two inches. That must have been the end of a stack. <laughs> Do you need to go through your stack or something? No. no. Oh, 
Okay. I stacked them all up on each other, but I didn't stack them all up in size. <laughs> all right. <then. laughs> Definitely need to pay attention to that one next time. Two of them in a row that are two and a quarter. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you got five more minutes. Five more minutes, and then I can change the thread out. Yep. We can see try what happens. Our, our experiment can come to a full. Yep. We'll see. Let's see. We'll see. Don't worry, Teresa, I didn't know you could change the screen settings either until Tiff told everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Teresa didn't know she could do that. Yep. Yeah. I didn't know it. It either. doesn't work for our live streams though. Like if I if anybody else is live streaming, we can't change the setting that you guys see. It's supposed to be streaming in, in 1080 at all times because that's what our cell phone cameras and or camera cameras typically are these days. Joseph, I just ordered some quilting stencils and chalk to dive into quilting other than straight lines. Anyone ever used the chalk to do this? I mean like a pounce pad. I have not done pounce pad yet, but I do chalk mark quilts on the long arm. All right, you can plug the iron in now, and then Ooh, I'm going iron. to get an empty bobbin so that I can roll a bobbin of this stuff in a few minutes. Yay. Do I have an empty bobbin or one that I do get to iron? Almost empty. Is that my bad bobbin? I doubt that's my bad bobbin. All righty. And now. <laughs> Heather says, I did not know you were on now. I cannot change my settings on my computer. Huh. And Jill said yes, a pounce pad. Yeah, I've not had a pounce pad. You might want to ask other people on here, but I've not tried it. And this has must go glitter on it, LOL. While that's heating, can I have more juice, please? Oh, yeah. Oh. What did you have? Do you know other kind? The other kind. Okay. Do you want the other kind again? Yes, please. Do you want the kind of Nope. All right. I just have a few more minutes, but I'm going to have him press all these back. Actually, I kind of want to like straighten them all up while I'm here. Well, I'm going to straighten them about before he starts doing everything. Like they're just barely off, like barely. I'm not going to lose any points. Should be good. Should be good. Right there. Oh, that one's way bad. Is this one bad? Sort of. Okay, here's your juice. That's all that was left, so. Oh, darn. I don't think it looked like I just gave you a little. That's all there's left. I'm straightening all these before you iron them. Okay, where was I at? No idea. Could you please tell me what you are making with those squares, asked Heather. I am going to be sashing and cornerstones on all of my tiny blocks so that they can um, be turned into a quilt. Uh, Nita says I used a pounce pad for marking my quilt lines and love it. Teresa says yes, Joe. Do small areas at a time and chalk gets knocked off. So okay, I gotta get the design down. Be showing you practice piece first. Mm, Shelly says it, it's where you take the low and high temp for the day. And the block talking about the temperature thing, I believe the temperature of the quilt. Mm -hmm. At the end of the year, you have enough to make a quilt, but don't know where I would get a pattern. Oh, um, high temp for the day and the block. 
I don't know. Like I said, I'll look into it. Let's see. All right, the sucker seated. What am I sewing? Do you mean ironing? Yeah, ironing. You're sewing. Sorry, you know what I mean. I don't sew. I iron. Uh, the blocks that I'm passing you just fold those back. Hold on, do you want the seam In open? towards, no. Just like that. Just fold it back. Just like that? Yep. I'm showing you. Just yep. like that? Just like that. I'm oh, trimming them all because I'm making them all straight so that the sashing fits better. Okay, so Squeak is back at it. He's working Squeak, and in a few minutes... Where I'm do you want these when I'm done, since we got... Just right there is fine. Okay. I'm making sure that everything is exactly two and a half inches. All right. So I'm just going to trim them off. Even with the sashing already put on it, I'm trimming them. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I should have trimmed them all first, but that's okay. I'm making it work. Nothing to trim there. Nothing to trim. Oh, maybe a little bit. Two and a half inches. Well, Jill, you guys all like squeak, you seem to anyway, so I gotta break him out every now and then. He has to make his debut. Since he's he's famous. Yeah, the famous iron. <laughs> the famous make your dogs See, bark there iron. Is. There he is. Woo! <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Uh, Anita says you decide on your quilt block and where the high and colors will go and then piece the blocks accordingly. Mm. Okay. I need to take more of these ones. Because I'm just one at a time. Just to... Yeah, that's going to take me forever. So what is everybody working on right now? How about that? What are you working on? They says they do crocheting temperature afghans. Oh, like, okay. I kind of get where you're going now with the temperature thing. I think, Teresa says, I think any two colored block would do. <clears throat> Deborah says she's heard about a temperature afghan every 10 degrees or Assigned a color. Hi, Patty. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. Not with a quilt and or afghan because I don't. We're not big afghan. I don't have. I don't even own an afghan. I don't have anything really crocheted or knitted or whatever it's made with. I don't do that, so I don't know what it is. It's hard. Brenda to... Kim's did a temperature shawl. I know what a shawl is. Yeah. Probably should have done all this before. Carol Green says crumbs. No. Well, I asked everyone what they're working on, so maybe she's working oh, on crumbs. Okay. Well, Auntie's finished two shirts for her daughter, and then she's working on sewing machine again. She wore one today to work. Back to making her rail fence quilt. <laughs> Teresa says the pattern your vet has looks pretty cool. Lizette's working on a weave quilt. That's perfect. <laughs> Jill says you're jamming on those tiny blocks, Tiffany. Yep. I should have trimmed them off first to make sure that they were all Brenda, exactly two Brenda's and a half. Brenda's working but... on her grandmother's flower garden. And is that being hand pieced? Yeah, I just figure she's out, you know, pulling some tomatoes and whatnot. But. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know. He's making a funny. Heather says, I'm still working on the triple Irish chain quilt. That is why I'm using two inch squares. I'm now sewing the pieces together to make up the pattern. That's cool. Patty's working on sewing Velcro on fleece leg warmers for the horse. Cheaper than buying 
I'm already made. That works. Right yep. there. That is definitely. Got to keep that horse warm. Brenda says she's selling on her mystery Pratt 6 today and now playing with glitter on some parts. Uh, Jill says, what size are you thinking about making these blocks? You mentioned blocking them. They're being sashed. They're, are, they're two and a half inches. I'm just kind of trimming off edging so that they are a little bit more equal. But they're two and a half inch. I'm just like... Brenda says, nope, she's doing it machine with Y seams. Ah, that works. I have one flower right there. You guys can't see it, but it's above me on the wall. I don't know if that's able. Is that seeable right there? I can't tell you on the delay. Oh, no, it's no, above. No, no. Yeah, I have one hanging on the wall, and I did that by machine. Trying to show my daughter it's, that it can be delay. done by machine. Uh, Kathy's working on nine patch blocks. She's adding sashing. Jill says she meant the quilt size. Oh, I don't know how it's going to be. Well, at this time, I don't up? know. You want to come in and say hi to everyone? Vicky's working on a rail fence and blue. You can come over here. One is working on a quilt made from signature Scott's blocks butt. and signature 16 patch blocks. You gotta and come down tire. too. Hello. For this everybody, <laughs> for everybody that's new to my channel and haven't met my children yet, this is my youngest daughter, Maxine. Hi, June. She pops in here every now and then. She Almost is supposed to. She is supposed to uh, be making some time with her mama here so that we can the quilt that we that she uh, bought the fabric for, or oh, the project, I should say. Mm, well, she starts school tomorrow, right? Yep, yeah. she goes back to school tomorrow. So we've got pieces. That's fine. They're all They're... saying hi to you. Hi. Hi. She's finishing. my eighteen-year-old. I'm finishing packing when I'm out of that house. So. Did you get a hold of Damon for the couches? Yeah, he said on this weekend you'll get them, but I don't have till the weekend. Well, then well, just. Then I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to tell him he has to find a way by Wednesday. Tell them to ask Jaden for the truck. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't dealing with this stuff anymore. Well, then message him. Tell him to ask Jaden for the truck. Oh, is that. Whose house is that? Uh, Grandma and John's new house, they're getting a picture in it, though, in the frame. Mom's making them a quilt thingy to go in the frame. That's what their house looks like? Yeah, that's the actual blueprints of their house. All right, that's it. Now... Oh, that massive bedroom's huge. Now to add the other side, I'm going to add the um cornerstone half square triangles one to each one of what these things doing, it should match perfectly so i'm going to add one of these what? to each of these and then we're going to do this thread change it's so I do not oh, care closet. which way the half square closet. triangle yeah. is facing. Unfortunately, I am not closet. caring about that because that's like no big deal. Big house. I'm just going to make sure that there's one of these on every half square triangle. I didn't even Arizona count to see if I had enough really half square good. triangles either. Have you been over there to see it? Helped help me moving with it. This is the only thing that makes it fit, just some clothes, whatever. Well, these... Oh, they just look big on paper. Did everybody say what they're sewing? How many more people? Is these rooms 10 by 10? Should say on the paper. No, it's our room. Oh, I don't remember. We measured our rooms ages ago. When what you guys wanted that? to put move rooms and stuff around, I don't know. That room's 9 by 12. This room's 10 by 11. Oh, bye, Kathy. Kathy says she's going to go. She enjoyed your All video. All right. Thank Be you safe. for joining. In a few minutes, I'm going um, to do this thread thing. I can't read blueprints very well either. That confused me. Nina says I'm working, not working on anything. Apparently keeping my foot elevated. Um... Jennifer says, so I'm curious, has anyone ever done any kind of quilt or even just applique with knit fabric? 
Yes, I have. When I didn't know any better, I've used every kind of fabric. Heather says, my sewing room is a disaster, too. After all the sewing of the gifts before Christmas, I will have a sort my room out before putting it in place. I don't know if I've gotten to 30 of these so far. And count to 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It says I have done quilts with new fabrics. They're heavy 15. and long. Bye. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. I said bye to everybody. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Oh my goodness, I had exactly thirty. <laughs> 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 Love you, Mom. See you later. So I'm going to sew all these on and then we're going to swap to the rest of that experiment. I can get... Yeah, your time is plenty up. You can yeah. change out the thread. Yeah. You can change it all out. No, I'm not going to do it while I'm in the middle of chain piecing though. Okay. So I'm just chain piecing my little sashings onto my cornerstone to add them to my blocks. Oh, crap. And I'm not caring which direction they are. You had a big glob of feathers on that one that I ironed on to it. <laughs> oh, well. It happens. It's okay. It's okay. What's the weather like for everybody today? Everybody having Jennifer some nice says, weather? Oh, well, I saw a quilter Instagram use it with beautiful results, but I've been scared to try it. It doesn't fit, so it's a cool look. Yeah. yeah. I've used it with and without interfacing. Like I said, I showed you guys one of my quilts out in the living room. It's made with um, dress stretch fabric and it's perfectly fine in the quilt. I mean the quilt's ripped a bazillion times because it's mixed with all sorts of other stuff. <laughs> so I've sewn it back together so many times but so and so and so and so and so it actually hasn't ripped on the knit. Oh wow look at this. I didn't even count to make sure I had 30 when I started, and it's weird. Did I have 30? Do you want Unless me to count? Miscounted? Do you want me to count for you? See if you have 30? Yes? No? No, that's fine. Okay. All right. Let me just... Mm, where was I? Heather says, yesterday my sewing machine told me to clean it. The only way it, it cannot sew properly, boy, it was blocked a yeah. all full yeah. of fluff. It's hot and cloudy here. What? We have a trash, trash next can. to you. This goes in the other trash can. This is a regular, that's a fabric. This goes in a fabric trash can? Yep. Are you sure? You don't yep. want it just a regular? Yeah, that's over fine. Let's just start. Regular trash can. All right, we are going to do this. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. Okay. Lots full of fluff. It's hot and cloudy there in Australia, she says. Jill says, I have a crocheted blanket that I just finished. First one ever, and I'm thinking of putting a fleece backing. Not sure if it's possible, but I'm on a mission. Wow, there was 30. Can you press these all towards... Well, then you read that. This? Towards that? Yeah. Towards the strip? Towards which way? Because they're already kind of flat. Towards that. Towards this piece. Yeah. You just want me to pull it open and include that? Yeah. yeah. What do you want? Because I got to rest. Um, yeah. 
Temperatures of Wi Fi is down. Sometimes maybe I will. Dreary, 34 in Michigan. Cold, cold. Smells like snow here. <laughs> smells like snow. Does snow actually have like a scent? Yes. Oh. I just, I know the smell of rain because, yeah. We don't get the rain around. We get the smell from the rain around us. I wish I could have made a clean six for April. I only so in the afternoons. It was crisp blue skies in California today, most likely in the 60s, 17 up in Michigan. Working in the hoop quilt blocks, couple inches of snow this afternoon. Bakersfield, California is almost 60. I believe it was supposed to be 60 or 62 yesterday, 27. Uh, fog with freezing fog. All right, we're going to bring this over here. Yep, don't break things. Feels dry. Except for the little bits of oil I see up here. Jen says it was foggy there a few days ago. All right, so those that just joined, if you didn't know, I did an experiment to see. We're going to see what the real results so are right now in of using mineral oil on thread. And I'm also trying to use my finger to get this mineral oil out of the... This thing. I'm going that way, right? Doing this right? Should be? Yeah. That, that way? Mm -hmm. Making sure, making sure. All right, definitely needs a wipe down because it's. Is it goopy? It feels dry, but it's. I've also been touching that, so I have mineral oil fingers right now. Oh, well, you can go wash your hands again. I won't talk in iron. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Is it goopy? No, it just... It feels dry, but I think mineral oil feels dry anyway, right? Once it's completely on. Mm -hmm. Jill asks again, what was the point of using the mineral oil in the thread? To see if it makes it nice. So I'm going to pull this nice big chunk off and we're going to do the so snap can, it test. So she can use the thread in her machine without making the machine let's all see filthy. Let's see how easy and it rips. And I have very oily fingers right now. So let's see. Oh, wow. That ripped really easily. Yeah. Look at that. I did it with my fingers on one hand. That was easier than any other thread rip. Hold you on. should you should have done the thread rip test before dunking it. Maybe the thread just rips that easy. Mm, maybe. Let's check it on this. We'll take a big chunk of this off and see. Is that the same thread? No, this is Coates and Clark. Oh, that rips easy too. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're rip test. Yeah. You're rip testing it rips the same. Okay, so it rips the same, even with oily fingers. Your rip so, test okay. Is... All right, I'm going to go rinse my fingers. It's the whole thing is if it keeps the lint down, We're the gonna... dirt in the machine. That way you don't have to constantly be cleaning the machine. I'm just like pushing on That's it. That's what we're looking for. No, right. Joe, it wasn't supposed to strengthen it. Not that I know of. Just supposed to make well, it so it one of the so one of the comments or a couple of the comments that I read on the people that have tried this with their pros and cons list said that it gives it a little bit more strength. I don't so know about that. We just tested it. No, there's no extra strength. So I'm gonna go wash my fingers real quick, and then we're going to roll a bobbin and run this through the machine. Oh, wait, hold on. We're going to yep. one more. See you later, Auntie. Auntie's gotta go sew our scant quarter inch pieces. Have a fantastic rest of. We're going to do this one more time before I go rinse, rinse my fingers. Everything seems to be... We have paper towels right in here. Use as much as you want. we got plenty. Okay. Seems seems good. Get All right. Done. I'll be right back. We'll be here. Scotty will be ironing and he can chat. Just use and squeak. See, squeak's purring. He's talking to you guys. He's squeak. There we go. All Let's right. see how this stuff works being mineral oiled. You're all ready. Let's pop out. Do you want me to find you some fabric? 
Oh, I have a piece of fabric around. So we'll toss that there. We're going to put this wonderful thing up here. We're going to roll a bobbin first. That way I'm running it in top and the bobbin. You got fabric? No. Yeah, so I ask and you to guess, but I don't see what fabric you got. Hey, you just don't want me to get you a hunk of fabric from somewhere? Right there. See those squares? Yeah, but those are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, then give me a hunk from down there. I meant like a hunk in your thing here oh, that you're yeah, not going to sure. use. Like one of these pieces that have all this on the back that we yep, can just sure. pull apart. Yep. How about right that? Here. All right. Nicely rolled bobbin. Let's pull this out of the top. Some of this fabric. All right, damn. And let's run this through. We're going to see if there's any difference. <laughs> Lisa says, drum roll, please. <laughs> What brand is that? Is that? It's it's signature. It's signature. It is a spool of white signature thread. Well, it doesn't. I just washed my hands. And my hands are dry, and it doesn't feel oily pulling it through and playing with it right now. So, that's a plus. So it's not goopy. No, it's not. It's not goopy or anything. So there's a positive. No goop on the loop. All right. Let's just take this. Hmm. Fold it in half. We're gonna move this out of the way. And I'm just gonna sew down this. <laughs> Do we know? Let's change the stitch length to a 2.5 now. Any plus minuses or is it the exact same? <laughs> Well, it's not leaving like an oil on the fabric. Different stitch lengths. I'm changing it to different stitch lengths. Kind of sounds different a little in my machine, but it also could just be that this is the fabric that it's on. Well, so Anne's signature see, is her favorite. I don't see no oil or anything. It doesn't feel oily on here either. Okay, but the thing is, how do you know if it's making a lint mess or not? Does your, did the old one make a real mess? Yeah. You're not going to know until you clean the machine. I'm not going to know really until it's clean. And I need a dark piece so I can run white thread over and show them what it looks like on a darker piece of fabric. June says that's how she uses her midarm. Oh, you're going to have to waste. I could have found you some in the junk fabric. Nope. In her mid-arm Husqvarna Viking, it's all juniors. This is super nice. Hi there, Sewing with a Dream. That's an empty name. I like that. Sewing with a Dream. All right. Kind of looks like it. the tension is a little off. I'm going to change it down to a smaller stitch length and go around there. So all in all, we really don't know if this experiment did anything or not. Change it to an even smaller stitch length. So I'm anyway, we hung out with you guys and we had fun doing it. I guess that it counts, right? <laughs> I'm going to come show you on camera. Does it, look, it doesn't look shiny, any shinier than it would have. It doesn't look any different. The it's not oily at all on the fabric. Oops. So it's not oily at all on the fabric. It doesn't look any shinier. It doesn't look any duller. It just looks like white thread. It did not mess up the bobbin. It looks good. CJ, did you tell me it seems to come over and play cards? Later? I don't know. It looks just fine to me. And let's test. I okay. have another signature here. We've We're been opened. To stand to play cards. Right here. <laughs> so here's another thing of signature thread right here. And we're going to, just because, we're going to open this one up. 
and stick them right next to each other so we can see any differences in the look or feel. Oh my goodness. I need a fork. A fork, huh? Mm-hmm. A fork. To pop this stupid little thing right here. You do need a hand, don't you? Yeah, two hands to be exact. Oh, it wasn't ripping on the ripper. I see it's not ripping. All right. Here is a non-soaked thing, brand new, I of don't. Signature Thread. This one's the non-soaked, okay? We're going to pull a little bit off, and we're going to try to break it the same way as we broke the last. Wrap it around my fingers. Still breaks the same. Still breaks the same. So that's no different. The breakage thing I don't think is going to change just because you put it in the wrong. This finger is one. This finger is the other. Hey, Becca's on. Hi, Becca. So it is glossier when it's been soaked. And it also looks like the fibers have, like, bound themselves together. Let me... So this is my soaked finger on my right hand. I'm going to totally bring this up to the camera so you guys can see. Brenda says it's down on the dust. So, Hi, Glenny. soaked, not soaked. So you can see like this, like. Could that be Glenny? Yeah, Glenny. Okay, did I say that right then? Okay. Yeah. I want to make sure I didn't mess your name up. So here's the soaked one. You can see it looks like it bound to itself. It, it shrunk up the, the fibers in the thread. Unlike the brand new one that I just unpackaged, you can see that the thread fibers are kind of fluffing out. You she can see that. It, it should change in the amount of lint and dust in the bobbin area. So, so that's here we're gonna have to figure out is the oiled one again. You can see that the dust is very settled. It is soaked in. And again, the brand new one that I just opened another one so you can see, same thread, same color. It definitely has lots of what would be thread dust all on it. So the, the mineral oil definitely is going to hopefully knock up, knock up, knock the amount of um, dust that gets in there. So I'm going to keep continuing on with my project. It doesn't seem to be, if I can get my finger out of the hole, ow, oh, that hurt. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be <laughs> you need messy. <laughs> oh, my finger was stuck in there. I wore it like a ring. <laughs> the signature thread it's is sitting not... on there. Funny, is it okay? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's not leaving a oh. an oily mess around here or anything. It doesn't look like it. So experiment works. It seems to be good. Well, we just have to see in the future so, how dirty it makes it. In like a week, next Sunday, I won't clean anything out. By next Sunday, of all my sewing that I do throughout the week, we will see how full my bobbin area is with lint and how we'll inspect my machine because that's the only way we're going to know. Nothing is oily, though, so, I mean. Hi, Gwen. Run my finger against the thread. So we'll see if this whole mineral oil is a, a big thing and if we should all continue on doing it. So by next Sunday, just make sure you come back next Sunday and we'll find out how filthy my machine is. I'll bring the camera up close and we'll we'll inspect. Gwen says, as usual, <laughs> she's late. She'll catch the replay later. But today's her 43rd wedding anniversary. Ooh, congratulations. And she That's says, tell am I that old? <laughs> Happy anniversary. That's Happy awesome. Anniversary. 43 years. And you said Becca's here? Yeah, Becca's on. Hi, Becca. Congratulations on your 6K subscribers. Woohoo! <laughs> I hit the 20, super spy sewer 26, here. <laughs> 2,600 subscribers is what my YouTube was at when I contact YouTube customer support today. Whew. You guys don't even want to know that conversation. 
talk about frustrating. Good evening, Colleen. Yeah, I don't think they want to hear all that junk, honey. Are we done with Squeak? Should I unplug him? Because he's really rolling. No, I'm... I'm I'm going to ass tatch. Yeah, that's the word I was saying. I do. <laughs> I'm going to ass tatch these pieces. Get them. Some sewing. And again, by next Sunday, running this signature thread with the mineral oil on it. We'll see how that goes in my juki. As opposed to my Colts and Clark thread. Did you want any other juice? No, I'm good. good. I'm good on okay. juice. I'm good on juice. So now I'm just going to add my... I, like I said, I don't care where anything is landing. I'm just going to add my little cornerstones and sashing pieces to this now. And I'm going to nest my little seams up because they are little scant quarter inch seams. Line them up and I'm going to sew them on. And I'm just going to chain piece a whole lot of them through. Just like that. Just like this. It does sound weird. One said thanks to everyone. It does sound a little on the odd side. Does it? Yeah, it has like a, I don't know if that's coming from the bobbin area or what, but it does have like a weird clanky sound to it. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear the difference, but I can. You hear that? That weird clanky, that little clank sound? Can do it. Yes, I hear what you're saying. I'm going to put it, I, have, I need to put the other thread in so you can hear the clank sound go away. You guys can hear that difference because there is a difference. If you guys have been paying attention to my clean machine. I'm wondering if it's coming from the bobbin area or not. Just putting these on here. And I didn't hear that sound before when I was attaching the other side. See, and when I, I'm so used to my machines, even outside on the long arm, I can tell when the bobbin is getting low and stuff just by the sound of things, unless I'm blasting the stereo, then I can't tell at all. But this, I can tell things too. It definitely sounds a little bit different. No, Jill, so you said the thread was dry. It's no, it's wet. dry, it's not wet. I would be covered in oil from messing with it by now. <laughs> uh, Teresa says, that. anyone know good audible books? I now have five credits. <laughs> Sorry, Teresa, we don't really do too many audible books. Nope. I read here and there, but I read the old fashioned way. <laughs> he reads books from the library. All right, let's get all 30 of these on here. And it doesn't seem to be, let's go back to the beginning one where I started. It doesn't seem to be getting oil on anything. Looks good. Tension looks good. I don't know. Seems good so far. Just that sound has kind of got me wondering where it's coming from. Yeah, don't break the jukey. <laughs> I mean, it's a tough machine. It should handle anything. <laughs> Lisa Doesn't says, now seem... I need to try Signature Thread. Bob and Roulette is a favorite game of mine. Doesn't seem to be getting anything oily up here at the tension discs or anything. Either. So. Oh, Teresa likes to listen to books when sewing. That's interesting. I like that. Some people do. Oh, look, how about we make that a question? What do you do while you're sewing? Do you watch TV? Do you listen to music? Do you listen to audiobooks like Teresa? Do you twiddle your thumb? Do you eat snacks? Like, do you have a bowl of M&Ms and you just sit and munch on M&Ms? <laughs> I mean, what do you do while you're sewing? Joe watches Me? Netflix. When I'm sewing in here, normally I have classic rock on. I am a music, I like music. Heather when says, I'm long arming, it's it's a mixture of music, but mainly classic rock and 90s rock. Heather says, I check you guys out on YouTube. Thank you, Heather. Awesome. Becca says she used to read. Now she reads it's a physical book or an ebook. She falls asleep after a page. <laughs> Listening to a book allows her to keep mind focused on the book while I do things with my hand, like so. <laughs> Reading <laughs> makes me cross my eyes. 
<laughs> Literally reading That's books, true. my eyes cross. It's the weirdest thing. So I don't, don't read books anymore. Um, and when I do, it, it's like not a page worth that I can read at a time because my eyes end up, I lose focus. So my eyes cross when I lose focus. Even with my glasses on, it's very, it's like a big strain. After watching videos while she sews or audiobooks or Skypes with friends and stuffs my face. Oh, do I have a light bulb going out? Is it? I can change that. That's oh, something I can do. It's flickering. One listens to audiobooks and listens to oldies rock. <laughs> Jennifer says, I watch and listen to you while sewing and eating chocolate. <laughs> that works. Heather says, I watch my favorite TV show on TV. Someone with a dream watches TV and snacks. Cooking and washing clothes. <laughs> that works too. Getting it all done. At the same One time. says, I have the TV on, no snacks, just something to drink. If you guys see flickering, one of my light bulbs is going out. Do you, you know what's you want to change it now? Are no, because staring it? at the light is making my eyes hurt, so I'm, well, yeah, I'm trying to figure it, out so. which one is doing it, and I can't tell. <laughs> June says, I have the radio on. I guess it's mm, chocolate. <laughs> Sound like Homer Simpson. Mm, donuts. Donuts. <laughs> Jennifer says, oh, and I listen to K-Love Christian music. I have double vision from... Hmm. That's cool. My mom listens to a lot of Christian music. She likes a lot of Elvis's Christian music, even. Suzanne does audiobooks. Who does? Suzanne. Ah. She does the audiobooks, too, like Teresa. Kim uh, listens to TV, the radio, drinks tea, and texts with friends and talks to them. <laughs> so, the complete multitasking. She loves to read and reserves books at the local library. Well, that's what I do. No, that's what he does. I have <laughs> a book I've been reading for, what, eight months now from the library? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's been more than that, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, been, it's been almost a year since I've been reading my book. My one book, and I'm barely at page like 200, and there's probably 275, 300 pages. Yeah. <laughs> he has to keep rechecking it out. It's okay. <laughs> Heather listens to her oldest son play games on his desktop or whatever her husband is watching. <laughs> that works too. Jennifer says, I have pepaloedema also, so I have a hard time reading, too, because of double vision. That's what yeah. she's meant by the That's PA. what mine pretty much says. I call it cry eyes because I can't refocus them back out. Like It's weird. It's like they it's like they double click inside my eyes, like the look of a cat's eyeball. It feels like my eyes are doing that, but they're not really doing that. Just Reese's feels, oh, there it goes. Okay, let's see which one it He's is. He's got to pull it out. It's going to annoy yeah, the well, crap can out I of us. turn the light off in order to yeah. do it though is the problem give Unless it a you second guys burn my we, hand. we're going to be sewing in the dark <sighs> for just a moment Do you want me to burn my hand because that thing's at zillion degrees oops we have just a moment of this darkness the light bulb went out on a live stream that is weird right they're hot it's hard to touch them okay I don't have it. Nope. One more time. There we go. Thank okay. you. It's not as bright now. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. He is bad. Look, the bottom's burning. You see that? The plastic is melting, turning brown. Oh, man. And they say those are supposed to be good light bulbs. Yeah. Well, I don't know about these. Okay. Where were we? Patty listens to YouTube videos, live so slow. audio books or music, 80s or Southern rock. Go, Patty. I'm with you. <laughs> Only a big, big glass of water most days. And da, 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 da. Heather says, spooky sewing in January. <laughs> yeah, instead of October, huh? That's right. <laughs> Becca says, at the same time your light went out, a thread spool fell on her rack. <laughs> she got spooked. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's weird. <laughs> we're, we're timing it special for you here. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I need to get another light bulb anyway, so. What, you want me to go do that now? I think oh. just wait till we're done. We'll just wait till we're done. It's well, really hot. Done. I don't want to go throw them in the trash. I don't want to start a fire. Got a little cool down. 
Not a fan of those little curly Q suckers. They don't show them on the camera what happens with those darn light bulbs. That's so crazy. They're supposed to be energy efficient and very safe. Well, we're not trying to uh, get in any argument with some company here, but yes, we've had these uh, blow ups even before. Yep. Explode and get the glass everywhere. We've had them burn. You can't see too good at how burnt it is right here, but we've had them burn black even. The only reason we use them is because we had most of them given to us. Yeah. yeah. I don't endorse or unendorse any sort of light bulb <laughs> for any manufacturer or anyone out there that wants to get mad at us. We just saying what happened at our house. Yeah. Light bulb issues. Yes. Especially our above lights. They're dim. Like this room is like dark. Like if I didn't have well, this light and that light over there, this room is pretty dim. That's because I thought I was super thrifty and got us a whole bunch of ceiling fans for 15 bucks each if I bought a bulk of them at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. It was Lowe's that we Lowe's. bought them. Yes. We got a contractor's discount for buying so many. And yes, the lights in them are very, very dim. dim. And we've had, what, two motors go out and all kinds. Stuff. Yeah, for 15 bucks, you definitely get what you pay for on the ceiling fan. <laughs> but at least Scotty learned how to not only change a ceiling fan, I've also learned how to change a ceiling fan motor all by my little lonesome. Oops. With Tiffy supervising, because she's the supervisor. Yep, I'm right, the Tiffy? supervisor. All right, Mr. Presser, start pressing these back. Oh, I just unplugged it. I didn't know you were that close to being ready. You're trying to yep. make noise. Really right. nice. I guess while he's pressing these before I lay them out real quick to put them all together, I am going to put my other thread back into the machine and the other bobbin and see if that sound goes away. So we're going to change it out and see if the sound is just from the thread with the oil? Yep. Is that what you're getting at? Yep. Experiment uh, uh, part three or four of yeah. the experiment. Well, the sound is annoying me, so that is my bobbin with oil. Let's put this bobbin back in. I have no dirt really up in here right now. It's pretty clear, but then I've only been sewing today since I. I know Kim. She's been asking for these daylight bulbs for a while. We have to go get them someday. We always forget when we're in the store. Yeah, every time we're there, we forget. Well, we're getting old. If we don't write it down on the list, we don't get it. Especially me. Every time I go to the grocery store, if it's not on the list, I don't get it. And half the time, I still forget half the stuff on the list. Or, like many people that write the list, I forget the list at home. So it does a whole lot of help when it's sitting at home on the counter, right next to where my wallet and keys were. Right there with everything, but I'll forget. All right, let's see. Because the sound is annoying me. It could just be from... So if you guys have any old man jokes, you can insert them right now. <laughs> uh, where'd my little piece of black fabric go? Uh, right I don't know. Nope, sound gone. Hear it? Yes, you guys do. hear the difference? I do hear it. So the one thing that thread is doing is it's making a weird sound in my machine. Hear it? It's gone completely. Oops. Let's put, refix that because it got stuck again. Oh, Brenda says she bit. watches you on when you're on YouTube. Ah, and she's also a YouTuber. Who? Brenda Hinton. Oh. Do you have a sewing YouTube channel, Brenda? You can tell us what it is. If it's not sewing, I still watch all related videos. I'm a... Okay, well, you can tell us what your YouTube channel is. <laughs> yeah, it's How gone. It's gone. Hear that? No sound. Yes, I do hear it. I have to admit. Do you guys want me to put the microphone up to the machine so you guys can hear the difference? We'll swap threads one more time. <laughs> that, that is a big difference. Whatever that thing, the, the oil that's on there is making a horrible sound in the machine. We're going to put the microphone up to it. The sound is not there. So here, I'm going to come up here. Let's see how well you guys can pick this up. It's going to get loud. Just, just pay attention to the sound. So this is the non-oiled spool with the non-oiled bobbin. Let's make it go fast. 
Hear that? It's pretty calm. That's going super fast. All right, we're gonna swap real quick to the other one so you guys can hear the sound I'm talking about. I'll do this one more time. This is crazy. It well, definitely- Jennifer says of all the places, Dollar General, she found a daylight bulb that are 200 watts, so she's not sure for voltage. But they're so very, very bright. She says it's nine bucks for two of them, but they're awesome. All right, pull this out. June Great says it is. sounds like her. She leaves her list at home by the chair. Yep. List only does it so good if we can remember the daggone thing. All right, I'm rethreading the, the one that has the mineral oil now, the signature thread. And I already put the bobbin says in. says to take a picture of it on your phone or use a notepad app. Yeah, that would probably be smart. All right, we're going to run this through. I don't think of that. No other sounds. Yeah, I'm sure you guys hear that weird click? Let's turn it. You hear that clicking? Very strange. Becca asks what thread that is. The signature. Oh, Becca, about your it's, experiment. it's the signature thread. I did the experiment of seeing how mineral oil helps keep the thread lint and dust down as well as coats the thread and keeps it nice. And I've been wanting to do that for a long time. So I did it during this live stream because I've been reading the pros and cons about it all over the internet and finally decided to do it myself and soaked my whole entire spool of signature thread into it, let it dry for 30 minutes, well, a little bit more than 30 minutes while on live stream. And it is now making a weird sound in my machine. Let's make that sound again. <laughs> It has a click, a weird clicking sound. That is so weird. All right, we're gonna put the other one back in for that last comparison because I don't want that clicking sound until I figure out what the heck is going on. So we're gonna move completely out of the way. Heather says it must be a man thing because her hubby forgets the, the, list. the notes behind all the time. Maybe, maybe Heather, maybe your husband and I, maybe we just know something that y'all women don't know. See, maybe we do this on purpose, huh, Tiffany? So they don't have to buy the things we want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha, 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 ha. No, that's not really, no. really You know that's not it. true, because I hate it when I forget the grocery store list. He calls me. Was this, this, this yes, on the list? because <laughs> I call you and then try and get you to go find my list <laughs> and read it to me. So this is and my Coates and Clark yeah. non non um soaked in mineral oil thread and we're gonna put this back in but it is a very linty thread i do have to say i should have probably i don't have any more white coats in part that's why i didn't soak one i had a signature so i used a signature jennifer just type your list on the cell phone yeah, all right says, oh, little scott it's not old i just here we go back so you can still have that sound in your head we're back to the regular one The click is gone. All of a sudden, just like that. Becca says you have the same wired mic that she does. Can you no? believe that? It's completely gone. Now we just need to get the same camera as you can, Becca. Well, that's what I the want. The sound is completely gone. So, yep. Maybe this machine does not like that. I'm going to have to run it through the brother machine and see how that goes, if it is clinky clanky at all, because that clinky clank down is coming from somewhere, but I don't want to investigate while I'm on camera, because I think So, that... in other words, your experiment was a... It's not a bust, really. I don't know dust-wise how it's going to last uh, for a month. Well, so... if your machine doesn't like it, I'd say it was a My failure. My machine doesn't like it, so that's mostly a failure. <laughs> The Juki does not like it. Jill says maybe the oil is bogging the machine. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hi, Stephanie. It was a clicking sound. Stephanie says hi. Hi, Steph. So, yeah, it's a clicking sound. I'm... Sue Ann says I hear it. it. It definitely is a difference. Heather says the thread might be slipping as you sew. Well, it wasn't messing up the tension. That's the problem. There is not one tension disrupt at all on any of this. Going super fast, going super slow. It wasn't 
it's just making a clicking sound. Becca says, I hear the difference. And she says, I'd rather just clean my machine. So I, I just think... cleaned my machine. It got yeah. a bath yesterday, both machines. Yeah, but instead of dealing with the oil thing oh, yeah. in order to keep the lint down, I'd rather just clean it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It was just an experiment. That's okay. I will still use that signature thread up. And here Don't we... worry. It will not go to waste. I'm just going to run it through that machine, and I will not dip any more thread. You have a question. When... <laughs> right now, as we speak, we're not dipping any more thread. Maybe we'll try a different brand next time. Like, okay. um, You have a question. What's the question? One asks, would it be better to use polyester thread on cotton? I don't pay much attention to what I get, just the color. It doesn't matter, honestly. For me, telling you guys... Polyester thread instead of cotton. Sorry, not on cotton. I, I'm trying to read an iron. I can't I, we, I use poly to quilt the quilts, and a lot of my friends and everybody that's come to me and people that want long arm, they say that their other long armors, or the ones they came from, from other states, use polyester thread because it's shimmery, shiny, or whatever. Um, yeah. Next time we can use a metler... Next time we could throw a different thread so through. Teresa says try putting the, yeah, what the are dry these? bobbin in with the oil thread on top. Tiff, did okay. you hear Okay, yeah, we could try that right now. Here is a brand new thing of Mettler. Next time I can just oil one of these small things instead of a big, huge spool. <laughs> hi, Karen. Karen says hi. And see how that goes. <laughs> and there's just no such <laughs> All right, let's put the dry... Oh, that is the dry bobbin. So it says big difference. Oily thread. He's still ironing anyway, so we'll put the. I'm just gonna leave this up here. Linda asks, "How are the stitches?" The stitches are good. They look great, honestly. Hi, Mary. Mary says she's just a little late. Hello, it's fine. Okay, I'm here. okay. okay so we're gonna put the the oiled thread on top, but the um dry bobbin. So Anne says signature is made well. I'm gonna see right now. Yeah, Teresa said it again. Please try the dry dry bobbin with the oil thread on top. Alright, we'll see right she now. She wants to see what that's like. So do I now. She's got me interested. I'm gonna just listen myself before bringing the other mic, bringing the mic back up here, but we'll listen for the sound. Alright. Run this through. Nope, it's making the sound. It's the thread going through the top of the machine. It's yep. going through the tension bars. We'll bring you guys up close. You hear that clicking? It's coming from right here at the tension disc somewhere in there. Yep, that's where it's coming from. So I not run that. Not if it doesn't like being in there. No way. It'll work on the brother. We'll put it in the brother. Brother's a Walmart deal. He might like anything. All right. He's a good old boy. I'm not going to try the opposite where I put the oiled bobbin in there and use dry thread on top. I'm, 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 I'm done. Vicky says she heard the Done. Cooking. Done. We're just going to stick this back in here. It's somewhere in my discs. And while I'm here at my discs, I'm going to slide this in them and see. Because I just cleaned this machine, literally. Sliding this in between my discs, making sure there's no oils or anything. In it. Very carefully. There we go. Yep, not doing that again. We'll just run it through the brother machine. Pretty sure it'll be just fine. The brother machine is whatever. It hasn't been ran. In a while, anyway, since it's just been freshly. I didn't Teresa even turn says, it on. Thanks. I was just interested. Yep. Mary says, "What's the matter? Maybe you want to fill Mary in on what you're doing." Uh, I did the test of soaking a spool of thread in mineral oil because supposedly it's really good for thread and keeping the lint dust down and so on and so forth. But um, so far, it's just making a loud clicking sound in my machine. There's 100% difference between running my dry cotton coats and clark thread and i could try running the um other spool of signature the dry one but it's going to be the same as the coats and clark they have the same consistency throughout the thread um like when it comes to like thread dust running 
the other one it's still going to be the same but when i put that wet one through it's not wet really it's just oiled through it starts making a clicking sound but when i switch back to the dry it's not making a clicking sound it sounds like a normal machine again so we did it with the bobbin we did it without the bob you know what i mean so yeah it's it's definitely the oiled thread is that's a no-go on the juki it's a no-go on here we'll put it in the cheapy brother machine and see how that goes on another day <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna move over here and we're gonna lay this out. And I don't know if I'm gonna, what time is it? Seven. Well, I think till, I'm gonna lay these out so you guys can get the general idea, but I'm not gonna sew them together because mm. Sunday nights is mine and Scott's hangout night. Mickey made hot chocolate. Even though we have every night, you know. Um, Sundays, yeah, is, Sundays is our do something together, like at home date night, as opposed to whatever else throughout the week. Yeah, we gotta make hot chocolate. Vicky made us one hot chocolate now. Plus we're <laughs> made you. Fries. We're gonna have um, French fries. Curly fries. Curly fries, to be exact. We didn't get to go to Arby's. We've been talking about Arby's, so mm. we got some curly fries for at home to make. All right, so I'm gonna lay these out so that you guys can see <laughs> what, what I'm we do doing. When we're a little low on money. We just get them at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm doing, and then I'll sew these together on another day. Mary says, I'd be afraid to do that. Teresa says, I'm sewing tiny blocks too. One, two, Talking about Vicky's hot five. chocolate. That sounds good. Pass it this way. And what's the recipe? Oh, Quinn says, fries six. sound good too. Five, five. Becca, this if you're is... still on, Tiff's going to talk to you then later. Yeah. Before you go to bed because you have a different time zone than me. Well, yeah, Becca's got to do her super spy stuff in the morning, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can get it. that in there. I know. That's funny. Trying to like blend all these around. Oops, wrong way, Tiffy. Pay attention, child. Pay attention. Hi, Judy. One, two, three, four, and this is five. So I'm just kind of laying my blocks out with their little cornerstones built onto them. I still have to make a couple more um, half square triangles to put cornerstones the rest of the way. Um, Hi, Gwenny. Around this. But I'm definitely, because I'm going to do um, the first, the top and the left side will get um a sashings and cornerstones but the bottom will already be sashed and the right side will already be sashed Oops. we have a friend in alberta Gwenny, but i have no clue where one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, we've five, never six. been there nope Should I unplug the iron? Oh, yeah, we're done with the iron. Well, Squeak's done for the night. He made his debut again. Okay. This looks good to me. They're not, like, super flat right now. They need to be to sewn together. New one next. But I will do that on another day so that we can all do our... Hi, Ellen. Hi, thing. Bernie. Hello, hello. So I'm going to turn the... Bernie says, why are so many people doing many blocks? Because I'm doing many blocks and I talked everybody into it. I made the challenge real because it's not really that hard. Okay. Looks good to me. Everything's equal. I don't know, Jennifer. We haven't tried them yet. Tried what? <laughs> the, the curly fries. We're going to oh. make them tonight. Yes, if they taste the same as the Arby's. We're going to try them tonight. I'm sure we've had them before plenty of times, but they're probably never quite as good. Okay. And there you can see... In full, right there, zoomed in. So it's five across by six. Well, yeah, five by six. There's 30 blocks. The cornerstones are already added on. So my right side right here and my bottom will already have sashing and cornerstones. So the only thing I'm going to have to do is cut the cornerstone for here, 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 here. The corner right here, there, 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 and there, and then sash in between them. So I only need to sash the top and the left side for me. And that way, let me see if we have 
Hi, Janice. A couple pieces that are almost one inch. Here we go. So it'll be like this, except just add some cornerstones. This one's not one inch, but we're just going to put it there for the look of things. Good night, Lisa. And then just imagine half square triangles here, 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 throughout the whole thing. So that's what I'm going to do. So all I have to do now is just make the last of the half square triangles. Hopefully I have enough to make a bunch of just random ones. I have all this right here. Hi, Bernie. To make some random half square triangles. And then that will complete this. And then I'll put a border on it, which will be this. Because that's the same. This is my scrap from the other quilt. And then the rest of my scraps are going to go towards something else. And Joe says the colors of your blocks are beautiful. It looks a little antique-ish. Yeah, I think it looks antique. We're going to come Lisa up here so you can so see. so adorable. Look at that. And he says, I don't know how to make all these. She's done a couple videos on them now. So that's what it'll look like. Just imagine the cornerstones around the outer side. And now she's starting to label her videos of what she did, right, Ted? Yep. I'm trying to name all my videos. Name them. Sorry. And I'm also going to be going back and actually naming the other ones, taking and changing all the videos. Oops, why does Gordon it do says that? says the blocks are gorgeous. Jill says, what size are the sashings, she asked. Two and a half inch by one inch. Wendy's on lockdown again, so she's going to try and get some sewing done. So, yeah. Bernice this is very cute. It's a two and a half inch block, two and, and a half window. by one inch sashing, two and a half by one inch sashing, and a one inch cornerstone by one inch, one inch by one inch little half square triangle cornerstone to keep with the small, so, so small theme of this whole entire thing. So Mary says it's darling. No, I just need to cut a couple more. I need to cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more two and a half by one inch pieces and 12 more cornerstones. Yeah. Yeah. And then this will be done besides a border. Yeah, yeah it looks great, Tiff. I'm going to go bald now. Okay. Work, slowing down. All right. So that is put it, in. it for now. Yeah, and it. also the little side thing we did today with the thread. Just don't ever do that again, Tiffy. We'll try it with a different brand of thread someday we'll run this through the brother machine though i'll put pick it up and bring it over here in front of the screen and see if it makes a difference in that machine i mean i doubt it but yeah um is it your hubby had an appointment yes her hubby has an appointment i don't remember what day it's probably tomorrow the fourth i have to go get an x-ray tomorrow and the fifth is my wrist appointment for my nerve conduction test so i'm not sure if i will be on on that day because I don't know if I'm going to be nervely what, on Tuesday? annoyed. Yeah, after the nerve conduction. Why don't you just go on earlier? It's not till five in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Well, then I could come on earlier. Yeah, I had a, a full body nerve conduction test. And that whole day, it sent my How's MS. That? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, agony. So the whole day, I was like, like okay. just freaking out. My whole body did not like it. So we'll see how my wrist will go. All right, that's it for today. I will finish this later. Are you done already? And yeah, um, gonna, okay. I, I'm going to go do the other things I wanted to do today. Okay. Which is watching Bye, everyone. Stuff. So thank you guys all for joining. So Sunday, I'll change the date on this video. I'm, I was in a hurry. My stupid video internet stuff. I still thank you guys for hanging out, even though I have horrible internet. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night.